sure you're well aware by now that Mac OS X Lion did not ship on a DVD. And you know, for legit Mac users, you could just go into the actual app you downloaded from the App Store and mount the install ESD, just burn that to a DVD, and you'd be all set. With the Hackintosh, it's not that simple, mainly because of the bootloader. You, you can't emulate EFI right from the CD, and basically it's a huge mess. So the, the fastest way I think to do this is on a USB flash drive. You can watch my previous um, Lion videos on how to install it. There's two separate ways, but both of those use the internal hard drive. Um, one was a fresh install and one was an upgrade. This will be a fresh install from a USB stick. So this is a little more complex, but um, that's why I'm here is to walk you guys through it. So the first thing you're going to need is a flash drive that's at least 8 gigabytes. Any more is fine. You could even use an external hard drive if you partition it or whatever you want. Just some sort of USB storage that's 8 gigabytes or more. You're also going to need the files I have here, which are all in the description. Just download it. There'll be, there's a uh, zip zip file there that has all this in it. It's going to be a chameleon bootloader a package called extra lion OS install and this is just for me. So with that said let's go ahead and so get started. So the first started. thing you're going to want to do is open up Disk Utility and over on the left you want to find your 8 gig flash drive or more like I said as you can see mine's right here and what you want to do is erase this and make it a Mac OS 10 partition which is Mac OS 10 extended journal and I'm just going to name it install. You can name it whatever you'd like. Mine's just going to be install. So go ahead and erase that. So that is now done. So now what you want to do, you, you can go ahead and close out of Disk Utility. That's, that's all you need. Is now you want to find your Mac OS X Lion image. And um, what you want to do is right click show package contents. Go there to content, shared support. And right here this install ESD, go ahead and mount that by simply by double clicking it. And so now that brings you to here. Don't need you. Go away. Alright, so now what you want to do is open up terminal. And now I have a few um, terminal commands. These are also going to be right in the description. As you can see right here, I made this is a little word pad I made for myself. So now what you if you want, you know what you're doing, you can pause the video on this and you'll be done. But um, I'll go ahead and walk through this with you guys. So I'm going to copy that right into here. And what that will do is it will actually mount this base system which is in here. This is a um, hidden file so you would have to enable hidden files to see it which you can do with an app or a terminal command but this is just a faster way. So once you hit enter as you can see it's going to mount that. Just skip the verification and now you're all set here. So I lied you aren't done with disk utility. So now what you want to do is open that back up and then you want to find your flash drive here and go to restore now on your desktop you'll see you have Mac OS 10 base system right here you want to drag that as the source and then the, um, the destination as that install partition does seem to like me there and so from there all you want to do is click restore put in my super secure password and this will probably take around 10 minutes not that 38 right there that's kind of crazy but Usually, from my experience, it takes anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes, so I'll be back when this is done. Alright, so now that that's finished, you can see that it came up here, and now don't close this because you'll be needing it. So in here, what you want to do is navigate to System, Installation, and there's this little packages alias. Now, where that references to is on the Mac install ESD, this right here, all these different things. And so, um, instead of referencing back to that, since we're not going to have that on our flash drive, you want to delete it and instead replace it with the packages folder. Otherwise, you won't have anything installed. You won't have Safari installed. You won't have anything. So now what you want to do is you can simply open this back up or we'll get fancy with terminal commands here because it's always so fun. Go back to terminal and go ahead and paste that in. And that will actually open up that folder. And so now what you want to do is copy all those and then come back to the installation window and create a folder called packages. Make sure you have a capital P. Otherwise, that probably won't work for you and just simply copy all those right into there and this is why you need an 8 gigabyte flash drive because this alone as you can see is about three and a half well about three and a quarter gigabytes so I'll let that copy and I'll be back when it's done so now that those files are copied you want to go ahead and keep this folder open you can close everything else so I have a bunch of windows open here so as you can see I'm just gonna close everything I believe now we're done with disk utilities so but anyway so now what you want to do is run all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll run extra line first. I don't believe they need to be done in this order, but this is what I've always done and it worked. 
So now what you want to do is do not install this to Macintosh HD. Before you go ahead and click install, you have to change your install location to your flash drive. So now find it down here. As you can see right here, oh by the way, uh, your drive name has changed to Mac OS X base system. So um, don't be alerted that it's no longer called install or whatever you call it. So that is its new name. So now it's saying that it's going to install to there and that's what you want. So go ahead and click install, put in your password. And this really should not take very long. Alright, so now what you want to do is go ahead and run Chameleon and do the same thing. Make sure you do not install it to your Macintosh HD change the install location to the, your flash drive. Now go ahead and install. This will not take long either as you can see it's done already. And now what you want to do is to do not run this, rather copy it to the packages uh, folder that you just created. It'll ask you to overwrite and that is um, replace. I believe what this does is it just sort of like takes away um, the, I guess the list of machines that line can be installed on so then it just lets you install it. And now there's one last thing you're going to need to do. I've actually included a utility called show hidden files that will make this a lot easier for you. So um, just run that, show the hidden files, or special files rather, but that's what it's going to do. So now what you want to do is go back into your Lion app, make sure that you still have um, ESD mounted. And as you can see, now you can see a whole bunch of different um, hidden files. And so now once you're here, you simply want to copy these five files. The disk label has a little period before it. Boot.efi, kernel cache, mock kernel, and Mac OS X media background. Simply copy all those to the root of your flash drive. Otherwise, it just won't be bootable. Like, it'll be bootable, your, your computer will recognize it, but it won't be able to boot into the OS X installer. So now once those are done, that's it. So um, that is really it. That's all you have to do to get your uh, Lion USB drive up and running. And um, you'll be seeing me put this to the test in my next video, which is going to be how is actually going to be me installing Lion to my new solid state drive. And um, you can go ahead and watch my previous video on, it, my, on me actually installing my solid state drive if you're interested in that. But um, other than that, uh, good luck, and I'll see you in my next video of me actually using this bad boy. So um, if you have any more questions about this or anything else, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. And like I said, all these can be found right in the description. So thanks for watching.